Hello everyone and welcome back. Time's come to begin putting our focus on getting the V-Edge devices installed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us over to our console and what I want to do is I want to look specifically at the topology that we're going to be working with. My focus right now is going to be on Site 103. It's a single V-Edge device and it's a single V-Edge device that I'm ultimately going to need to provide connectivity to in order to get it operational. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure an Ethernet segment between the internet CSR router and the V-Edge 5 device that I have in Site 103. Now in order to be able to do this, first of all what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and configure the router and we're going to look at Gigabit 4 on that device. So I'm going to go into the internet router and let's see what's gone go, uh, on here. So what I want to do is just simply say show run interface Ethernet or I'm sorry G4 and we have no config. So let's go ahead and make that part of this work. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in here and say interface G4 and we'll say description and I will just say uh, to site 103 and I'm going to go ahead and give it an IP address in this instance what I'm going to do is I'm going to go use ahead then use 254 it'll be 1721 103 since it's network segment 103 and I'll say 254 255 255 2550 and we'll no shift this interface in and what we'll do is we'll copy run, start, and save the config. All right, now with that done, the next thing that I want to turn my attention to is going to be the V-Edge 5 device itself. So here we are on the V-Edge 5 device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in. I'm just gonna say admin, admin. Actually, I need to do it again. I fat fingered it. Admin, admin. And what we want to do is we want to look at this device. Now again, show run. What we're going to find is it's really no different than the V-Bond that we did. In fact, like I said, the V-Bond is in fact a V-Edge device. It's just been told that it's functioning as our V-Bond. Now, what I'm going to do now is the same thing we did before. I'm going to say config T. We will say system. And I need to go through and do all of my configuration. So in this instance, what we're going to do is I'll say, first of all, that I am going to give it a host name. So we'll say host dash name. We'll say V edge dash five. We'll give it a site ID and that site ID is going to be site 103. We will give it a site IP. So we'll say system IP, excuse me. The system IP address is going to be 172.10.203. I'm sorry, 103. We're going to have to give it an organization. And again, the organization will always be micronicslab.com, especially if you're following the, the lab guides and you're going to be executing on my gear. Whatever you choose to use on yours, that's up to you guys. Then the next thing that I'm going to need to do here is identify the V-Bond. So I'll say the V-Bond is 172.1.100.202. <clears throat> so we have the, the host name, we have the site ID, we have the system IP, we have the organizational name, and we have the VBOND. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the NTP server in. So I'll say NTP server is 172.1.100.254. I want to prefer it, and we will use VPN0 to communicate. Exit. Exit. Now all I'm going to do is configure the time zone. So we'll say clock, time zone, America, New York. We'll go ahead and hit commit. Now, from the perspective of the configuration here with the interface, all I want to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and configure the interface that we're going to be using for Internet, and remember, Internet is VPN 0. So I'll go into VPN 0. 
and I'm going to give myself a default route. I'll say IP route, quad zero, and we're going to point it to 172.1.1.0.0. Three, two, five, four, and then next, what we'll do is we'll identify and configure the interface. So we'll say interface G zero G E zero zero. From this perspective, I'll say IP address one seven two one one zero three one slash twenty four. We will no shut the interface, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit and. And let's see if we can ping. So I want to ping 172.1.103.254 to see if I can ping my gateway. And just to verify routing, what I want to do is see can I is can I get to the IP address of the VBond 202, which I can. I want to get to 201, which I can. I want to get to 203, which I can. Now the next thing that I also need to take into account here is, is remember I need to be able to access this device from my vManage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the console to the vManage. We'll go ahead and get into the config here for the console and I'm going to say ssh2 admin at 172.1.103.1 and let's see if we can get in. What we'll see here is again just like the vBond we can't. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to address that issue and that means I'm going to have to enable the service. Remember the service was enabled under config T, under VPN 0, interface GE00, tunnel interface, and I'm going to say allow service all. And let's see if we can commit. And we have, so let's give it one more try. And sure enough, there we are. And admin is going to, or should, if I, I think I fat fingered that. So we'll say add me in. There we go. And sure enough, now I am on VEdge 5. So we have the reachability. We have the configuration in place. The next thing that we're going to want to do in order to be able to exercise the way things are going to be working in this fabric is we want to talk about how we're going to add this device and all the others to my vManage situation or my, my vManage um, network management system, my NMS. Basically, at the end of the day, that's what it is. So one of the things that I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my Viptera, my Viptela serials file. So what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just cut back over to the console and let's see if we can't make that happen. So from the perspective of the resources and the things that I have configured, one of the things I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to configure and upload my license files. So from the perspective of the license configuration, let's see, we've got our uh, devices. And what we're going to do is, you'll notice here I have an upload WAN edge list. If now if I click that and then I hit browse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to go to that download folder again. So again, we'll end up waiting for it as far as uh, it scanning for everything. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be looking for a Viptela file. Now the good news is I should only have one in there. So let's see if it actually narrows things down for me. And inside of that file we should find about 25 Viptela devices. So got lots of different configs here. So it's showing me everything so I am looking for serial file Viptela. There it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this. So I'll say open and we will upload. Are you sure you want to upload the file? Yes, I am. What we're going to find is, is that this device is going to actually upload the serial file and in there we're going to find 25 virtual edge devices. We're not going to use all of these. I just wanted to make certain that I had enough in order to be able to register. And what you'll notice is, is that there is a chassis number and a token number. Now when we go through and we add a vEdge device, adding the vEdge device is going to allow us to be able to register with the vManage NMS. Once I do that, what will end up happening is, is the virtual edge device, and we're speaking specifically about Viptela vEdge cloud routers, which is what we're running inside of eVNG right now. 
what will end up happening is, is the system is actually going to adopt whatever chassis ID I give it and whatever token I use to assign it. And that token will ultimately become the device's serial number. So between those two components, it's going to allow me to be able to register VEdge devices on a case-by-case -case basis. But there's still some more configuration that we're going to want to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break right here, and we'll look at that in the very next video. So until then, I'm Terry Benson, and I'd like to thank you for looking at this class, and I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far.